joined by Gail Damain, who is a photographer, graphic designer and creative artist. And we are going to be doing a mindful watercolour painting class of a bee. And this is in celebration of World Bee Day on Thursday. So welcome, Gail. Great to have you on the show. Morning. Thank you very much. I'm oh. actually very privileged to, to be here celebrating this anniversary day. So happy anniversary. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, so we're a year old and Gail was our very first guest a year ago on episode one. Um, so yeah, we're delighted to have you join us um, again. And we are so we're going to launch straight into it in a minute. For those of you who are joining us, make sure you've got your paper out, got your paints and brushes, or if you're using alternatives, I've got a bit of old makeup and some turmeric and stuff. Um, get some water and we'll get started straight away. So I'm going to hand over to Gail. Okay, but just today. quickly, be sorry, before we start, I just wanted to say that Karen, you know, we talked, we were, you, you did the first um, show on Facebook, we did, a, we did a thing with Eco Meetup and it was an experiment. And so now it seems to have grown so amazingly. And so I wanted to say that this is, when you do watercolours, it's always an experiment because you never know what you're going to end up with. And it's very fleeting and it's, it's all about just feeling what you're doing and, and feeling the paper, feeling the paint. Um, it's an experiment, so there's no judgment to it, okay? This is just something at, um, that you can have a go at and enjoy the medium, okay? Absolutely, yeah. And and, and just to add to that, I mean, I, I, I did one with you last week and it was just really therapeutic and liberating. So I do encourage people who are joining in and watching us, just give it a go, you know? You don't have to show it to anybody. Just do it for your, for your own well-being, as I call it, because I think it's... You know, it's yeah. really relaxing and really good fun. Brilliant. Okay. Well, I'm going to share screen now. And uh, I'm going to set this going. Way. Hey. So this is a photograph I took at um, East Western Vicarage Gardens, which is a brilliant place to get reference from. Now, this painting can be done with two colours, yellow and black, or as I've decided to just add a couple of other colours, which you can progress to, or you can, you know, we can just stick with the yellow and black, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to start with, if I can just point out, I'm going to start with these bits here, you can see they're oblongs. And you can see there's another oblong. And it's like a little bit of a crescent moon, but the bee's bottom. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're exact because what happens when you introduce the paint to water means that anything can happen. So I'm now doing the bits the darker bits on the bee. I've left the space here because the wing goes over this particular color. So we're just going to give an option to show how the wing goes over the bee. The paint started to mix already with the yellow. Might need a bit of help. Now the bee's head, you can see it's a sort of um, globe shape. And again, I'm leaving this space here. Sometimes you don't know what something is, you just, just do what you see. Now I'm adding the leg. I think there's a, there's a leg there and there's a leg here. All coming off the thorax. Now the back leg. See, the thing with watercolour is you just, you just can, you know, the slightest brush stroke can just indicate something, it's an impression. Now, what are we going to do next? Oh, I'm adding some water so that you can see how the colour moves into the other colour. So the black moves into the yellow and as I do that, I'm just drawing in some hairy bits because it's a wonderfully furry bee. So now I'm drawing the fur. 
painting with her. I think it's amazing that you can do this without having to pencil it all out first. You know, it's just simply looking at shapes. There we are, longer bit. I think I was putting some pollen on there. I was adding a bit of the rose color just to give it a bit of depth. You don't have to do this. It just gives it a slightly warmer look. Now I'm going to do the wings. And because it's just an impression, it can be created with a couple of brush strokes. There we go. I think at this point I've decided to add some floral bits. It's just an impression. Um, I'm going to use pink, but you can use whatever color you like. The pink is just to give an impression of these bits on the flower. It's called stickier or sticker or something. Stitcher, I don't know. Go and look at um, the Vicarage Garden and they'll tell you. And there's some yellow bits here. Then I'm adding a bit more water just to spread the colours about and make everything softer. I love the way that the water, look at this, I love the way that it all just blends in. Oops, makes me happy. I'm using a little bit of tissue just to get this bit here paler. You can actually, it's, watercolor is quite forgiving actually. You can almost rub something out or you can lighten it. The thing is just to experiment to see what you end up with. There we go. And now I'm going to add some pollen because I love the messy bit. This is where I'm taking things into my own hands. Oh, there we are. Happy bee day on Thursday, bee day. Happy day on Thursday, celebrate the bees. Just look at all the lovely things that are happening with the color here and here. Oh, I love this medium. You can paint on any kind of paper from old envelopes to proper watercolor paper or anything you have to hand. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Oh, I love that. That was absolutely great. I did try going along. <laughs> I'm not going to show mine because I was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> so I did try painting with a turmeric and I tried using this um, black makeup color stuff, but it just wasn't painting very well onto the paper. So <laughs> I think so my lesson learned, I think I'm happy to find something else and replace the black. <laughs> an experiment, just experiment. It's an experiment, yeah, but that was, that was brilliant. So yeah, <laughs> so, thank you. Did the water mix quite nicely with the turmeric so that you could move it around the paper? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, see, that's a good feeling. Yeah. No, brilliant. Oh, that well, was really you. good. And um, so, yeah, for, thank you well, so much, Gail, for joining us and um, having you on the show again has been amazing. And I think that's a really nice little mindful exercise. And your bee just looks amazing. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I have been drawing bees all week, painting bees all week to get that. So yeah oh i know i think maybe i need i'll try i'll try a few more i'll go back and i'll do it again and come up with some more before i show anything to the world um but i know you are also offer it going to be offering some monthly mindful watercolor sessions um and you've got one coming up in june that's right 
Yeah, so um, if you want to find out more about that, you can go to dalmain, D-A-L-M-A-I-N-E dot eventbrite.com. I'll also be sharing the, the direct link to the next mindful watercolor session um, into the comments and into the post later. Um, so for those of um, our viewers who are watching now or you're catching up the replay, I hope you really enjoyed this session um, in celebration of our wonderful furry friend, the bee. And um, thank you once again, Gail, for joining us. That's thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Karen. Oh. Well, take care, everyone. And we'll see you same time again uh, next week for another Hubfish show. See you then. <laughs>